back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about a newer pro a new product for me and a newer product that's out there and that is going to be the Crown King Shave Et. Now I have it here in the bone scales that refers to what the handle's made out of, but they also make it in uh, what's called tally wood. And there is a logo on this back side over here that says Crown King. However, the newest version of it actually has the logo etched into it. So that's an upgrade from this model. So uh, what the shave, Shavette is, if, in case you don't know, it's basically, uh, the best way to describe it is a, like a replaceable blade straight razor. So there's no blade in this now. Um, however, as you can see, it kind of has that straight razor look to it. Um, but what you can do is open it up and put the blade in it. Now the benefit of that is no stropping, no honing. You use a blade. Once it's done, you throw it out. And uh, this one is actually very unique compared to the ones that have been out um, in the past. And I have another one here. This is another example of a Shavette. Uh, this one's made by Parker, and this is one I used uh, years ago. And uh, it's very light and, and just cheap plastic, uh, even though it did work well. Now this is kind of uh, like the man's version or the, the big boy version. Um, it just looks beautiful. And uh, one cool feature about it is that it takes an entire double-edged blade. So normally in these shavettes, you would have to take your blade and snap it in half or break it in half, or you could just buy half blades uh, to fit in these. So that is definitely a huge benefit. So um, I am going to be doing a full shave, but um, kind of wanted to talk about this product, you know, as far as loading the blade and all that. So um, if I am loading the blade, what I want to do is, uh, first of all, be very, very careful. These things are super sharp. Um, and what I find is that if I have the shavette, I kind of hold it upside down, and I'll try to demonstrate that, and then put the blade on there. There's two little grooves. Now, one thing to be aware of, the blade does stick over on this side, so that's a little uh, nerve-wracking for me. So uh, the reason I hold it upside down is so that gravity will kind of hold that blade down, and so that uh, it won't have as much blade exposure or the blade won't have any anywhere to move. So I gently slide that over and now you can see that the blade is securely in place. However, it, you might not be able to see that the there is blade sticking out from this opposite side here. So you have to be very careful not to like run your finger along it or anything. And then you simply close that little door, holds it in there nice and tight. Okay, so uh, putting in that blade is, you know, a little, you know, it's a little nerve wracking, but just be careful, go slow and you'll be fine. So, um, I, like I said, I am going to be doing the shave for you. So let me get my face wet and then I'll be ready to move on. Okay. I'm going to be starting the shave with my ATG pre-shave bar. Just put that on just a little bit like that. I've already rinsed my face off with it prior, so kind of reapplying it against the grain, and that's going to uh, help boost the lather and just uh, make for a better shave in my opinion. brush I'm going to be using is my Zen Shaves Circle the Wagon horsehair brush, and my soap, just for the record, as I drop the label, is going to be Phoenix Dapper Docs Soap Lilac and Fig. That is a terrific soap. So uh, let me go ahead and load it up. Now, uh, if you're interested in these shavettes, you can pick them up from Crown King Shaving or Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and uh, the price is about $20, which in my opinion is a fantastic deal because uh, this one that I showed you originally, this Parker, this cheap looking one, um, I paid $20 for that. And uh, you know, like I said, that one was of good quality, but it's just not even in the same league as uh, the Crown King Shavette. It just looks cool. Um, the weight of it is so much nicer. Um, it actually, actually has something you can feel. You can feel the weight of it, and uh, that just makes it a little bit more stable and easy to use, in my opinion. So I've loaded up a ton of soap. All right, get a little bit more water on my face. I'll lather this up, and then we'll get moving on. Okay, so lathered up, ready to go. 
I'm going to get the shavette. Now again, always be careful with this. Uh, the way I like to hold it is with just my fingers, kind of uh, two fingers on the tong, I think it's called, and then one over on uh, this part. I forget exactly what it's called on a straight razor, but it's kind of nice as a spot for your thumb to rest in there, and I feel like that gives me a good handle on it. I'm just uh, running the blade under some warm water. I find that it cuts a little better uh, when it's warm. That's any any razor. All right, so uh, with this, I'm gonna do it like a normal shave. I'm gonna start by setting my sideburns. And what I do is I kind of like place it against uh, here, just with the opposite side of the blade, and then kind of twist it. I don't like, I don't wanna come in and just stab myself. So um, I just find that that really helps. I always do my sideburns first because that just makes it easier for me to do the rest of the shave. There we go. Okay, so if you've never used one of these before, um, again, I'll say it a hundred times in this video, use extreme caution. Um, I do not recommend jumping straight to one of these from a cartridge razor. I did it and it wasn't pretty. All right, but uh, what I do, again, just kind of stop parallel with it next to the skin, apply a slight angle, and then just slowly, with no pressure, let the blade do the work. These are extremely sharp. As you can see, I, I like to uh, lightly stretch the skin a little bit. I just find it makes a firmer surface for the razor. Always, always, always with the grain. Now, one awesome thing about this uh, Crown King Shavette uh, that I've that I really love is its weight. I think I've mentioned it before, but it just feels so nice. Uh, I don't have I have a straight razor and I haven't really used it much and I'm not very good with it, but compared to, like I said, this uh, other Shavette, it's just, it's, it's night and day. This is so much easier to use. It's more stable. It just, I don't, I don't feel like I am tempted to apply any pressure whatsoever. Uh, cheeks are the easy part, harder parts, chin, mustache, neck, all that. So just be careful. All right, now the neck. I'm just gonna go over, get a little, few more droplets of water in that lather. I just want it to be very, very slick on the neck. This is a trouble area. Um, if you're new into Shavette, I would actually recommend not doing the neck for a while until you really feel like you've gotten a, a handle on uh, the cheeks and stuff. A little weeper there. All right, here we go, let's do the neck. Okay, there we have it. First pass, everything is, uh, yeah, it, 
shaves really, really, really smooth. I'm gonna get rinsed off and move on to the second pass. Okay, so as I'm getting lather for the second pass, the things I noticed, it is definitely an efficient shave. Um, I would call it a, you know, fairly aggressive, but uh, that's really gonna depend on your pressure. Uh, if you're applying a lot of pressure to this, yeah, it's going to tear you up, but um, once you get the technique and you learn to, uh, especially since it has weight to it, allow the weight of the of the shavette to do the work, uh, you know, that's what that's what's going to do it for you. Um, also, I did read that if you think the blade exposure is a little too much, uh, one thing that you could do, which I have not tried yet, but I will, um, is to break the blade apart and use or use a half blade just like I would that you would be required to in other types of shavettes. Um, so that may work for you. I may give it a try out uh, in a different video, let you guys see or tell you if I notice any difference. All right, um, going across, it is a little bit difficult. Um, I don't know that I do it correct or that there's a real correct way, um, but it's just, uh, it's, it's, a little, it's a little tough. So I am going to be focusing on it. I do find that up here, instead of coming this way, I have to go out this way. Just uh, personal preference to me, but also be careful I don't go too far and slice up my earlobe. All right, feeling super smooth already, awesome. This side. All right, with the chin, um, I do not go across on my chin. I just find that that's just asking for trouble. So uh, I will try to change up the angle a little bit, just see if I can get a little extra, but I'm not gonna be going across. Also with mustache, uh, I'm not gonna try to go across. I'll come here and go out. Very nice. All right, second pass on the neck. Here we go. Okay, there we go. That is two passes down. Extremely, extremely smooth. And I'm going to rinse off and get ready for the third. Okay, rinsed off, ready to go for my third pass. And uh, honestly, a third pass I don't believe is completely needed with the Shavette. And uh, I am certainly not going to be doing a third pass on my neck. It's close enough. In fact, my cheeks are close enough. And uh, when I was shaving with a shave at daily, uh, I only ever did two passes. I'm going to do it here just so I can just kind of demonstrate it to you guys. Uh, but I would only do three if there was some real special occasion and I wanted just an ultra super close shave. Uh, so what I, what I do is I hold it you know, kind of upside down and do that against the grain. I won't be going against the grain on my chin or on my mustache, anything like that. It's merely just cheeks and then kind of this like little angled area. All right, so make sure the skin's stretched and uh, lightly against the grain. Then when I think about what I'm doing there, I actually am using, you know, very short uh, buffing strokes. I'm not trying to take any long passes going up the side of my cheek or anything. Um, it's just, you know, what I found works for me.
Okay, like I said, I only was going to do my cheeks, so I'll rinse off and uh, finish off the shave and finish talking about the shavette. All right, after a hot water rinse and a cold water rinse, I am finished with my shave. Uh, you know, three passes on my cheeks, two passes everywhere else, and this shave is ultra super 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 close and that's what you're going to get once you uh, learn the technique of using a shavette or a straight razor uh, now in my opinion uh, as far as you know using a shavette before I, i've used this one a ton i actually learned on this one uh, this thing just blows it away this is an awesome shavette the price on it is you know like i said it's about 20 bucks this is my witch hazel one by the way and uh it just works flawlessly. There is certainly going to be a learning curve though with this. If you're coming from a DE razor, uh, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. You know, you have to pay a lot of, uh, of attention to angle. Um, most people I know find it beneficial, including myself, to stretch the skin. I do that with a DE anyway. Um, but it's it's just you know kind of a, a different uh, a different experience and uh, one that I think is well worth trying so if you're in the market for something a little bit different i do highly recommend the crown king shavette like i said you could pick it up at uh, phoenix artisan accoutrements or through crown king shaving uh, let me know if you have any questions um, if you have any questions about this particular shavette or about using a shavette or just anything in general i want to thank you guys again for watching and as always we'll see you next time with another video bye